Tonight, the first view of a beam carried away by crane from the wreckage of the key bridge. Coast Guard video showing crews using cutting torches to slice through steel. Officials confirming the first salvage efforts were a success, including a 200-ton piece of the northern part of the bridge cut away and removed on Saturday. Still, it's just a small fraction of the work to be done. These are more the secondary pieces because we're hoping to open up secondary channels. And what's your understanding about now we're a week later, the probability of actually finding these four men who are missing and, and what it's going to take to do that? We owe it to these families to bring a sense of closure. And so as soon as it is safe for our divers to get back into the water, those divers are going back in the water. Even as the 24-7 effort on the water ramps up, political debate in Washington, with Republicans criticizing President Biden's quick promise to pay for a new bridge in Baltimore. If we could see Republicans and Democrats cooperate to get President Biden's infrastructure package through, surely they can cooperate to help America and Baltimore deal with this tragedy. Holy hell! And in Oklahoma on Saturday, another bridge pillar hit, this time by a barge, temporarily closing the span over the Arkansas River. How it didn't knock that bridge down, I don't know. Oh, my God. Two bridge incidents less than a week apart, now fueling new concerns about America's aging infrastructure. Certainly, this incident is going to give uh, America's bridge builders and engineering community a lot to think about. And Aaron joins us from the site of the Baltimore Bridge. Aaron, what other resources are on their way? Well, Gotti, we understand that a fourth crane from the Navy is expected to arrive here tomorrow, along with several dozen more support ships in the coming days. We also expect to see President Biden here to tour the wreckage site this week. Gotti? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.